Attention, please. Fushimi-san of Class 1C. The student council president would like to speak with you. Please report to the student council room immediately. I repeat. The president wants to speak with me? D don't tell me she thinks I stole the money, too. Yes, you're right. She'll help us, won't she? And if I talk to her, at least I won't have to trouble you anymore. Um, shall we head to the student council room then? Good, you're both here. I apologize for the sudden announcement. The reason I called you here is... It's because people are saying I stole money, isn't it? Yes, that's right. I happened to overhear the rumors. First, I'd like to hear from you directly on whether you actually did it or not. Uh, um... Miss President, I... just need to be brave. I, uh, I, I didn't do it. Well, I thought as much. You believe me? Considering all the work you've been doing for the student council, I can't imagine you'd be the type to steal. I fully expected it to be nothing but a baseless rumor. I just wanted to hear it directly from you. Miss President, th thank you so much. That said, we can't expect everyone else to be as understanding. As you have seen, people are openly sullying your reputation because they don't know you as well as we do. I'll figure something out for the time being. That's my duty as the Student Council President. Give me a hand, will you? I'd like your opinion on how to proceed. You've spent more time with Fushimi, so you understand her situation much better than I do. I wish I could handle this right away, but I have other business to take care of. You don't have plans tonight, do you? Come to my room when you're available. And I'd prefer you try not to be seen by anyone. W wait d d does that does that mean you two will be meeting alone? Alone? I'm not sure I understand the problem. If too many people get involved, it could draw unwanted attention. The two of us can handle this, so you... N no I can't allow that! Fushimi. All I have to do is clear my name, right? I... I can do something about it on my own. I'm going to demand an explanation from the teacher. Wait, Fushimi! remember what happened that day you had a bandage on your chin because you cut yourself while shaving I also remember handing the fee money to you directly or are you really going to say that this is my mistake fee money give me an explanation right now or else I am so sorry you're right it's, it's completely my fault well senpai has been wait what well, the truth is, I accidentally took the money home with me. I've been meaning to bring it back here, but then I uh, completely forgot. What? What? It's just, the payment deadline was pushed back, so I didn't think it was that urgent. Then I kept forgetting to bring it in each day, but I, I figured I'd get around to it eventually. And, well, here we are now. How? How could you? I know. This is completely my responsibility. I'll make sure to explain everything. I'm sorry for the trouble. So there's the truth. I'm almost more dumbfounded than angry. How do you even call yourself a teacher? I'm so sorry. It 
It's okay, Miss President. Everyone makes mistakes. Well, that concludes my business here. Let's go, Senpai. Senpai, over here! Can you believe I went to the faculty office and said all that? I even surprised myself a bit. This whole thing is just... <laughs> <laughs> Remember when I said, I can't allow that to the student council president? <laughs> it's just, when I thought about you and Miss President being alone in a room together, I got really mad at even the thought of it. like that ever since I was little. Or so my mom says. Normally, I'm quiet and timid, but when it comes to something I care about, I get really aggressive. It's because I... Uh, um, Senpai, there's something I want to say to you. Actually, I've wanted to say it for a while, but I didn't think I had it in me. But I think I can do it now. to be able to go home together. much of your time. I'll see you at school then.
time. Good, good. Not bad. Thanks. Bye bye. I've been writing more of my story. How much did I tell you about? Oh, right. The pink alligator and the bird became friends, right? This was the alligator's first friend, and he was very happy. They started going to the river every day, 
and the alligator would listen to the little birds sing. But the pink alligator still had trouble hunting because of his color. He was so terribly easy to spot, and his prey always had plenty of time to escape. Eventually, he became so hungry that he grew dizzy. And one afternoon, he accidentally ate the bird as it slept in his mouth. Of course, he immediately realized what he'd done. He drank swamp water to vomit his friend back up. But he was too late. The bird was already dead. After that, he couldn't bring himself to eat anything. That's as far as I've written. I haven't decided on an ending yet. Oh, is it really that dark? For me, it's hard to tell. The words I use come from my own life. I don't really have a point of reference. But I see. So, this is depressing for others. You know, when I mentioned I was writing a diary, that was a lie. I was writing my will. I couldn't face reality, and I was essentially screaming curses into my notebook. For now, though, I'm writing my story in the same notebook. It probably isn't very good, but it contains some things that I've learned during my short life. When it's done, I'd like you to be the first to read it. Meeting you is why I started writing it, you know. I've been trying to come up with a good ending, but I just can't decide. And I'm running out of time. I've got to go now. But I hope to see you again. Very puzzling. The plants seem much livelier than they did when we started. Do you suppose they're happy that you are tending to them? Fascinating. There's no data on this, but it seems like you understand them. Hello, plants. I will be tending to you as well this time. Don't worry, I'll make sure to decrease my pressure output. But if anything starts hurting, just raise your left hand. Or rather, your left leaf. I had some prior knowledge of plants, but this was my first time observing them directly. These little seeds and buds in the earth 
can morph and change so quickly. Is this proof that they are living as well? I would like to watch these plants grow and document this experience for my records. I will tend to them with my full power. This took more time than I'd anticipated. I will need to run more simulations to ensure there are no delays next time. It's gotten late. We should head back now. putting my thoughts in order. I was so confused last time. I couldn't find the right words. I've said before, but I have a bad habit of thinking negatively. Like, when I have a difficult time deciding on something. And no one knows what the future holds. No matter how much you prepare, you can never really be sure what'll happen. So in situations like that, I think the most important thing you can do is belief. You have to think positively and trust that the future will smile upon you. The thing is, I'm not sure I can do that. I don't understand how it comes so naturally to everyone else. How are you able to tell yourself that things will work out in the end? Oh, I see. You really are strong. I think I really admire that part of you. So, um, the reason I've been relying on you isn't just because you're our leader. It's because you're you. It needs to be you. Once I learn how to cook, and I've paid you back for your help, will that be the end of us spending time together like this? Thank you. But I'm sure there are lots of other people who depend on you, right? I can't get in the way of that. 
sorry. I didn't mean to sound so depressed. Oh, look at the time. We should start heading back. Hey, uh, do you mind if we make a small detour? I want to buy some ingredients. I think I'll tackle making Koro-chan's dinner today. Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? <sighs> Thank goodness. She actually made it. And here we are! Whoa, nice place! Yeah, this part of town is pretty fancy. Hey, what's that umbrella for? Huh? But this is the first floor. Guess these old Kyoto buildings have all sorts of surprises. So, which way do the geishas? Think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. <laughs> Keep dreaming, Junpei.
The stone area outside is filled with water. Is this one of those open-air hot springs I've heard about? Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? All right, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari-san. Okay, okay, enough of this. I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man... Man... <laughs> well, guess we had to head to our room now. Come on, let's hustle. Or else missed... Hey there. Hey, what's up? Uh huh. Well, look who we have here. Is the honestly speaking? I have little interest in the plant-based fare they have going on here. I sampled the food the souvenir shop had to offer, but I find myself unimpressed. Why? Abandosu! Good evening! Is this not amazing? We are here in Kyoto. This is true Japanese aesthetic. Simple but elegant. Oh, just look at this pagoda. My, my! How does it stand with only matchsticks? Behold, the wonders of Japan! Come on in. Anything catch your eye? Much appreciated. What's up? Check this out. The hot springs over there, right? Now, if you consider how the garden is fenced. Are you seriously trying to peep? You do know you can get arrested for that, right? Of course not. I'm not stupid. But just imagine the steamy paradise beyond the garden fence. Close your eyes and focus. Then you'll see everything inside your mind. Give it up, you idiot. No way you can see a damn thing like that. Give up? Never! Nothing is impossible! And you call yourself an athlete? Where's your spirit? You're the only one holding yourself back. You gotta push your limits to succeed. 
I never thought I'd see the day you'd teach me something about sportsmanship. You're right. I'm not gonna give up. I'll never give up! Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. I think I'll just head to bed. Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. Hello? Are you on patrol as well? Just kidding. I plan on enjoying myself on this trip. I only hope there won't be any trouble while... Hey there, Odagiri-kun. Have you tried these complimentary snacks? Ugh, they're so tasty. No, I haven't had the chance to... There's nothing left. Aren't those snacks supposed to be limited to one per person? Oh, really? Oops. I ate them all. So... <sighs> I figured. I'll just pretend there weren't any in the first place. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. I want to sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming. If you want to know more about the trip, you can find the details in the itinerary over there.
We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened! I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki, and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. But it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? <laughs> Sorry. But we don't know that for sure yet. <sighs> you know, I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. He was involved in dangerous work, but in the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour, and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started? That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. For my father's sake, and for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together, okay? Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, now, this is awkward. <laughs> hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore.
looks like you're still wet behind the ears. Listen closely, all right? No gourmet worth their salt will be caught wearing a yukata. Wheat! Our belly expands, the sash gets too tight, so we loosen it. Then we eat some more, we loosen the sash more, the sash falls off, we're left in the nude. You follow me? You are wearing a yukata! I also wish to try wearing one, but uh, it was très difficile. Very challenging. The string, it got tangled up and, uh, and my clothes came off. But you look fabulous. I am envious. I wanted to feel like the evil magistrate. You know, the kind who says things like, Oh ho ho ho, I am quite villainous on the tele... Mm, on the TV. You already changed into your yukata? Damn, you're fast. Dude, you won't believe what Miyamoto did today. Help me talk some sense into him. And do you always have to wear that stupid jersey? Of course I do. This way I'm ready to run wherever, whenever. Duh. That's the problem. You literally just run off. You have no idea how exhausted I am because of you. Do you know what this guy did? He went on a mad dash up the hill at Kiyomizu Dera. The rest of our group had to chug along to try and keep up with him. Look, man, if you see an incline, you gotta run uphill. That's what a real athlete does, right? It seems like Mitsuru's overcome her pain. I don't know what happened, but I'm relieved to see that she's feeling better. say the tour today wore me out. I was looking forward to going sightseeing around this historical city, but... Yeah, it was one thing after another today. Some of the older ladies in our tour group passed out right in front of us. I'm glad you were there, Keisuke. Thanks to you, the situation wasn't nearly as bad as it could have been. Nevertheless, it was a shocking turn of events. Yeah, even the tour guide passed out. The way you took charge and directed traffic was really impressive, though, Otagiri-kun. Have you ever considered becoming a police officer in the future? Huh? No, I hadn't given it any thought before. Oh, let's head to the hot springs. I'm covered in sweat after that whole ordeal. Maybe I should go get changed, too.
Just now, I saw Yukari-san and Mitsuru-san leave the vicinity together. Just now. Just now. Yukari-chan and Kirijo-senpai together earlier. They looked like they were having fun chatting with each other. You don't see that very often. Hey there. Thanks. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. I'm glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. Evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about it. He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking. Every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. 
So, what's the point? So you mean, we're forced to help each other in order to survive? But look at everyone around us. They all genuinely like each other, don't they? They want to be together. They're not being forced. That doesn't add up. Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided, but it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm, other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. We're all in the midst of a long journey, with all kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. We should probably head back. Don't want to get in the way of all the couples. what to eat next. So far, I've had Senbei, Namayatsuhashi, more Namayatsuhashi, Senmaizuke, then more Namayatsuhashi, Senbei again, and Senbei again. Now what? Ah, yes! The raw, unbaked confectionery! Getting dessert next does make the most logical sense. Too much of a good thing can be a bad thing. And that goes for Kyoto's healthy cuisine, too. Now that's deep. Today I saw Kiyomizu. Kiyomizu was so high up. And then I saw Kinkaku. Kinkaku was so shiny. Tomorrow I will go see Ginkaku. Ginkaku versus Ginkaku. Who will be the winner? Already the last night of our trip. All we ever did was visit the temples, but I think I'm gonna miss it here once we get home. There's just one thing I regret. Where is the girl of my dreams? Aren't romantic encounters supposed to happen on school trips? That's all you ever talk about. Isn't it about time you grow up? Wow, look at you all high and mighty even though you're the one sneaking glances at Takeba-san and her yukata. What? I, I wasn't looking at her. This is the first time I have seen a bathtub this large. Although, 
It seems highly inefficient to leave the hot water running. Junpei was looking for you downstairs. This trip went by in a blur. I can't believe we're already heading home tomorrow. I don't really care much for temples, but I still had a lot of fun. Let's hang out after we get back. to see any tears in my pants at all? Maybe that was a bit much. The Kamigawa River has a nice ambiance, huh? You see, Odagiri-kun was trying to skip rocks across its surface, but he lost his footing and... Can we please drop the topic? Besides, I'd say you're partially at fault for challenging me to hit the opposite bank, Keisuke. Aw, don't you want to see if it's possible? The wind was blowing in the perfect direction and all. What's the point in doing that? Because it'd make me happy? But I'm asking what good would come out of doing all that. It was still pointless. Don't you remember our elementary school days? We used to practice skipping rocks all the time. Yes, but we're in high school now. You're a third year for crying out loud. Looked like you were going all out though, to the point where you slipped and fell. Again. Can we please change the subject? Oh, you're so scary, Odagiri-kun. I'm glad that Kirijo-senpai seems to be feeling better.
my friends and I are really into the dessert they serve at the cafe there. Oh, do you want to come with us after school sometime, Mitsuru-senpai? Yes, of course. I'd like to try this special strawberry parfait you mentioned. Okay, cool. It's a date then. If you have any other recommendations, I'd love to hear them, Yukari. Oh, there's this new place one city over. Sup? Wanna check out the outdoor hot spring? Sweet! I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Do you know this hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? No way, really? So, there's a chance it could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? How? Even still, can't help but think maybe fate wants us to be here. Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Yoji-kun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei Kun? You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. <laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow, this hot spring is huge. Oh, shit! Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky look! <laughs> Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! <laughs> Who's that? Is someone there? What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Mitsuru's here, too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. Uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuga, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay.
We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Yay, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow, you really know what you're doing. The shadows? No, there's no one here. See? <laughs> you have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? Looks like we bought ourselves some time. If the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted! I mean, Suru and Agus are probably close, too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? them with noise. Good plan. Uh, what herring? Why is it red? He can explain later. Ah, what was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. We know where they are now. This is our chance. Whoa, hang on! We'll never make it if we just run out into the open like that! Whoa, so much confidence. You're like a natural-born leader. Well, you got us this far. Might as well go all in with ya. All right, let's move. No, it couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> well, well, obviously! How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific... Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. Uh, I don't know how, but we made it out, all thanks to you. One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where'd Junpei and Mochizuki go? Junpei-kun and Ryoji-kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I 
thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Crap, here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Uh, what are you reflecting on? Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, whatever. This secret stays between us, got it? You guys better take it to the grave.
Very intriguing. Hey, listen. Yo! Marvelous. I'm looking forward to it. Are you accepting a request? Wonderful. Is that true? You have my thanks. Very well. to the Velvet Room. Regist is overriding acceptable. I've completed registration. This is your progress so far. This persona, yes? 
So you'll be summoning this one? May it be your inner strength. Very well. We look... should follow. Oh, understood. So it's important to eat quickly then. Sounds sensible. I imagine set eagerness shows respect to the chef as well. Now then, let us begin. Bon appétit. Flavor. I thought it's strange at first, but it carries with it a subtle complexity. Yes, this is quite delicious. Excuse me, Monsieur Chef de Cuisine? Chef de Cuisine? You talking to me? Your ramen is absolutely wonderful. It's been a while since I last gave my compliments to the chef. What do you use for the bouillon? Bouillon? the hell is that? You're asking about the recipe? Sorry, miss. Can't tell you. That's how we put bread on the table. So it's a secret recipe. I completely understand. You don't have to tell me. You mentioned this dish puts bread on the table? I suppose that means it comes in sandwich form as well. I see. What a fascinating delicacy. Uh, that ain't exactly... Well, whatever. The recipe of something this delectable could likely be patented and sold for quite a profit. Oh, sorry, um, my imagination got the best of me. I've been wanting to try ramen for a long time. <sighs> Do you find that... unusual? Oh, that's good to hear. I never had the opportunity to eat this kind of food growing up. The style of restaurant is new to me too. So, I have to admit, it's something I've always wanted to try. I'm glad we came here today. You've already taught me so much about ramen etiquette. I would love to return here in the future. Thou, 
Thou art I. Thou hast established a new bond. Thou shalt have our blessing when thou choosest to create a persona of the Empress Archive. Oh, I didn't notice the time. We should be going. drawing. Why is this? What? <gasps> it's been a while. That voice. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments if you would. Here. Don't tell me you can't even recognize your own evoker. Now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now, I'm afraid to die. Hey, Shidori, hurry it up. Mandia, let's go.
relax to the sound that goes around the round the round the round she said hey 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 feeling the fire with the burning desire every day we inspire but never expires but we can uh -huh. today let me ride the world tomorrow by the way by the way Just give me a minute so I can calm down. The pain comes and goes, but I'll be fine once it passes. It's getting better. Thanks. I stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to cure me anyway, right? It just eases my pain and suffering. My medicine makes me drowsy, and if my hands go numb, then I can't write. I have to finish my story. The reason I haven't finished my story is because I haven't found the meaning of my life yet. I'll get absorbed in my writing, erase it, and then lose sight of how to reach the end. When I'm with you, I can almost see it. It's because you've been here for me. It seems like you might have given me a reason to finish. I'm probably writing this book to find my own meaning in life. 
And if I do find it, if I do finish the story, I hope we have a little more time together after that. today, but I hope to see you again. different beans today. I went to a coffee shop and bought some real ones this time. I made sure to store them in the fridge, and I only ground them right before brewing. I also learned you need to be mindful of how hot the water is, as well as how you pour it. Yes, I practiced with the cheaper beans from before, since I can't afford too many of the expensive ones. Although, it was hard to drink all that coffee, so added a lot of milk and sugar. <laughs> well then, let's drink, shall we? Cheers! Hmm. Still really bitter. So bitter. But it's not only that. I could actually taste some of the sweetness and richness this time. The beans and brewing technique can make a huge difference, huh? Oh, and the smell was great too. I'm feeling a little nostalgic, actually. Thanks for joining me. You can go on ahead. I'm gonna practice a little more to try and get the hang of this. Let's make some more if we ever get the chance. Oh. Uh, first, I gotta use the bathroom. I drank a lot while I was practicing today. Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Strega. They're still alive. Those bastards! First the Dark Hour doesn't go away and now Strega's back? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? Them, but I thought she was in the hospital. Huh? No, she's she's inside. Ah! What's wrong? Long time no see. Chidori. She hijacked the transmission. I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Come to me. <clears throat> Yamagishi! I'm... okay. I don't get it. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? <sighs> Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! Junpei, come back! This is almost certainly a trap. 
But it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning, so choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. Yes. Excuse me. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. that smart and I've done a lot of stupid things but this this is wrong we shouldn't be fighting each other Jinpei-kun look out Whoa! hey that was close you could have killed someone there <sighs> Yori why Get back, Junpei! Talking won't solve anything now! It's too dangerous! I know how you feel, Junpei-kun! But please, just back up! Medea. This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. Shinori! What the hell's gotten into you? To me, Lydia. That was close. Oh, 
Kaya was right. You're all just a nuisance. Get ready. I'm feeling inside. This is nothing. I don't feel that. What to do? Sakuma! I have to do this. I won't lose. And now? Now! You don't touch me, Chidori. Please tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is attachment. When I do, I become horrified by the thought of loss. My possessions, my life, everything. That's why we only ever live for the moment. But you, Junpei? You brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori. What is it? It's the others from Straka! How did they... Bastards! You just don't know when to give up! <sighs> I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! Ha! Ah. I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was... chosen. Bastard! That's it! I'm not letting you do this to her anymore! Protect Chidori with my life! Chilpei. Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! 
Jupe, hmm. look out! I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? Uh -huh. I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I... I realized what I wanted. And... What's that? I... Want to be with you, Junpei. Forever. I... Um... Uh... I... I want to be with you, too. But it could never last. And it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. That's why... This is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? Die? What? I don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead? But wait! If she goes as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh. <laughs> Chidori! <sighs> <sighs> so it worked. I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. But da... But da... That's all I needed to know. How I can go on living in you. I'll always be with you. Huh? Hey, Chidori! Stay with me! What the hell are you even talking about? Hey! This is how it has to be. your back. I'll do everything I can to protect you. So come on. <sighs> this might be all I ever needed. Just being in each other's arms. It's nice. Chidori! Ch Ch 
しろい<笑>